hey y'all how's everyone doing today i hope everyone is doing well thank you and welcome back to the channel and i hope you guys subscribe and become part of the cali crew and don't forget to like and comment on this video now let's get into it so today i was strolling through instagram and stuff and i came across an article and it was talking about um Shawnee, and we was talking about uh, what's going on with this basketball wise. And I guess the execs over there have heard our grievances and feel some type of way about it. Because basically what they're saying is that um, they're feeling the way we feel. That, uh, well, I'm going to read some of the, what... I came across today and it's stating that um, the former wife is now a reality star, but also producer. She is going to have to give up that producer title or at least the power she had with the title to stick around for another season. So basically what they're saying is that if she wants to be continue to be on the show, she's going to have to be... Um, a basketball wife, just like all the other ladies, or she's going to have to be an executive producer. She's not going to be able to do both. And if she's going to be an executive producer, and if she does decide to be just a basketball wife and participate in the show, that she's going to be giving up um, making the behind the scene decisions. So it, we would see which one she's going to do because if she's on the show, then we know which one she decided and if she's not, which I kept speaking on previously because I felt like it was a conflict of interest and a lot of people were feeling that way because you really can't comment and do the things or behave the way you want to when it came towards Shani. So I... I'm very curious. I would like for you guys to respond. Tell me what you think about this. Um, do you think that it's good that the execs are making her choose? Do you want to be a participant or do you want to be an exec? You can no longer do both. I I think the other ladies are also... Um, I think it's putting a strain on the other basketball wives because... Uh, I guess they've had some grievances in the past concerning her. And there was also some, you know, some comments made by other people where, you know, whoever she personally cannot bully gets kicked off the show. So now we have to, if Shawnee does not return to the show, I will continue to do reviews on the show. I think that she created a lot of problems and catered to her friends and made uh, the situation very hostile for certain people because she really did not want them on the show. And this is going to be, I think that it would make the show better. And I guess also the execs felt that, you know, you... Are causing you cause basketball wise in Miami to fail, which then they did the spinoff to basketball wise LA, which they dropped the LA and then called it basketball wise, just basketball wise, period. So now, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about it? I also saw that on change.org there was a petition going around for her to be removed as an executive producer. So maybe that also influenced the other execs of the show. Like, you're costing us money now. Because um, I heard rumors that they did lose a couple of sponsors. So I think this is a great move by um, the producers of the show requesting that she choose. Which, which one do you want to do? Do you want to be behind the scenes or off? You can no longer do both. Um... I also see the OG did an interview. Uh, she did a talk show interview. And um, I kind of have mixed feelings towards it because she's like, well, you know, because she was asked something about the colorism thing. And, and um, 
she was like, well, I don't want, you know, they didn't want to talk about it then. I don't want to talk about it now. But if you do, if she does decide to go back on the show, you're going to be dealing with the same people. So how would you deal with that situation? Because they still feel the same way. So would that still be an issue for you to have to face? Because Shawnee never stopped it. I mean, no one ever made anyone stop treating, stop the treatment of it. So, you know, the denying it never made it cease. So I am curious about, um, because we already know that they have been renewed for another season. And I am curious to see what her decision will be. Because I believe she wants to do both still. Uh, I think it's beneficial for her. I think she likes the limelight. I think she likes the attention she receives from being on the actual show and not behind the scenes. So I am kind of curious to see what choice she will make. <clears throat> uh, I kind of felt that the title was just a title. Um, that she did not have the final say-so anyway. So that seems more apparent. Also because other people are telling her you have to choose. So she does not have the final say so. So they, they're giving her an option. Uh, she has some say at this point. But uh, there are still other factors involved. Other people involved. So plus she does still have her other show. I believe it's Shawnee and Five or some, some show she does with her children. Which I don't watch. So... I am, uh, I don't really care for Shawnee. I don't like her personality. She's not the type of person I would ever associate with. Um, she just doesn't seem like a very nice person to me. Maybe, no, she just, she doesn't seem like a nice person to me. I don't like the way she moves. I don't like the way, you know, she, she does have, you know, she's financially stable and stuff like that, but. I don't, I don't like, you know, this, this season really, she always was kind of shady before, but this season really just sh showed me like, this is not the type of person I would ever associate with if I ever had the opportunity in life. She's not the type of female I would hang with. Uh, what do you ladies think? I noticed that most of my audience are, um, mature women. And I would like to know, how would you feel if Shawnee was to return to the show or not? Would you prefer that she did not return to the show? Would you prefer that she just played her um, producer bro and not be a part of the show? I personally think that it would be better if she did not be on the show. Because I still feel that I don't think that she could separate the two. I don't think you've been doing it for so long. I think that it would be hard. And I still think that her presence would be intimidating still to the other ladies. I, I still think that she, they, the, they're saying that she would have no real power or say or whatever, but I guess we'll find out. Well, that is my two cents on this. And as far as the, uh, the interview with OG, um, I'm really confused about what OG is going to do. I, I think she is returning to the show because when she makes the comment about she's not going to address it anymore, I think that she's throwing all these hints out like there, there are times of charm and stuff like she will be returning to the show. Um, I am really shocked because of the way they treated her. So I guess the money's worth it, you know. Um, or maybe that's part of this reason why is that it, she's been told, she's been notified about this whole thing about Shawnee and maybe that was the reason why she decided to come back if, if she is in fact coming back. Well, until the next one, peace.